Hi guys. I wanted to hop on real fast and do a little video. It's a rainy day. Hence my looking goggles I'm using so I can see. <laughs> um, wanted to uh, jump on and do a little video and I was like, well I don't really, you know, have anything. I don't have a thought, anything, you know, big and important and meaningful, I don't think, <laughs> today to share. So I wanted to um, do a little update on everything. Maybe keep all the fans up to speed. This morning, had a <laughs> had a funny moment. I was thinking that I wanted to order some of um, my seventh book so that they can be ready for my new location for my bookstore and everything like that. And I like to have them, you know, on hand. I sell them personally, you know, as well. And I wanted to order some. Well, I go and I'm looking at my my banking online and stuff and looking at doing an order and I see that I have something on my online banking stuff that says Amazon payments and I'm like, what? I've not bought anything today. I don't why is Amazon taking money out of my account? I don't have I've not ordered nothing, you know. And get to looking no, it's Amazon paid me. And I was like, alright, cool. So I get to looking trying to figure out what in the world I'm being paid for. And I get on there and I look and you know and it's telling me what all is um, sold on my books and things like that. And I had the most of it like 90 probably like 95 percent of what i was getting paid for is from book six and i was like okay cool awesome you know and i was thinking you know book seven maybe that's what it was but it was from book six and i was like oh this is cool so got really excited about it like it might seem you know kind of odd kind of funny but if you you know, or independent, if you do your books yourself and things like that, you get, you know, you're having your mind, but you get really excited because any bit of progress is very exciting and it's a plus because when you go into something independently, you are going to be pouring time in, you're going to be pouring money in, you're going to be, you know, it's going to be give, 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 and to receive, you're like, you know, it's um, kind of, you know, exciting and overwhelming when you're getting started. And I'm, uh, I guess, technically getting started. I've been published for, I don't even know, um, maybe seven years now. Eight years, probably, something like that. Um, so not exactly just getting started, but, um, you know, like when you have progress, you get excited about it. So I'm tickled about that, you know, and I appreciate, you know, whomever has, um, ordered copies or ebooks or, you know, however, and it's very exciting. And then bookstore, I've been at. Uh, like I've mentioned in a video before, I've been at it for maybe like four years, and I am so excited. You guys just don't even know. <laughs> like I'm fixing to, I'm fixing to be able to show you guys what God does, what He can do for you in your life. I'm fixing to show you just what happens when you put your whole heart in and you're dedicated and everything like that. And I'm not at all, you know, in any kind of means bragging or saying that I did it or nothing like that. God's done this. God's moved. And I'm so excited for what he's doing for the bookstore, what he's doing for me. And I, this is like the best place that the bookshelf has ever been. This is like the best I don't even have words for it. <laughs> like I'm so excited. It's um I'm not 
gonna be, you know, in, of course, my big bookstore and by myself, but I am going to be um, in business with people who are extremely trustworthy, extremely good people, good Christian people. We share beliefs and values together. We have great plans, you know, for our town. We want to help people. Uh, we have very positive mindsets. We have very, you know, good work ethics. It's all just come together beautifully. Gosh, I didn't turn off the windshield wipers. <laughs> um, but it's all come together just so great, and I'm so excited. And I just feel like God has brought it all together, and He has blessed us all, and He's brought us together. And the things that He's wanting to do, you know, through us and just in our town and everything, it's so wonderful, and I'm so excited. And it's just... To me, it is reassurance of you do the right thing. You always just do the right thing. You follow God. You put your heart and soul in it. You do the best that you can. It doesn't matter how it looks, okay? It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter matter about, you know, um, you don't have the money to do it, whatever. You know, I come from an upbringing of, like, Maybe like $22,000 a year was essentially what I grew up on, if that tells you anything. I don't have a lot of money. And even, I was speaking to my friend earlier, and I was like, you know, I don't really, I try not to even think about it or even worry about it, because I got, I know God's going to provide. Some way, somehow, I know He's going to provide. He'll make a way. You know, He has big plans. But <clears throat> I want to definitely share with you guys to hang in there. Don't worry about what's against you or who's against you. Always do the right thing. Always follow your heart. And you have a dream. You have a passion. You have a fire within you for something. I don't care what it is. I don't care how funny other people think it is or how they make fun of you for it. How many people turn their back on you for it. Um, you will have friends and family leave you um, like condemn you, like put you down and everything. Sorry, I had to look at that truck. That was really nice. <laughs> so white Peterbilt. Y'all's gonna learn that about me too. I love big trucks. But, um, I'm gonna lose my train of thought too looking at a truck. <laughs> but, okay, here it is. You, like, I've seriously, I have had friends and I have had family, like, judge me, ridicule me, turn their back on me and everything, and pretty much act like I have no sense whatsoever, and I have no idea what I'm doing or what I'm talking about, or, you know, I'm crazy, and I'm doing what I know God wants me to do in my heart, okay? I'm going the way that I know God wants me to go, okay? So, you have to follow your heart, and there's going to be times that you're going to have to stand alone. Okay, and that's fine. Trust me, a lot of times being alone is a lot better, you know, than the alternative. You need to be doing what is your purpose. You need to be focused on your purpose, and you need to just run for it. We have one life to live. Okay, I've wasted a lot of time. I've made a lot of bad decisions because I've tried to be what everybody else wanted me to be or what everybody else thought that I was. I've tried to hide and like squash parts of myself because it didn't suit everybody. It didn't make everybody else comfortable and that's not okay. And I was actually thinking last night and I, I don't know why my, my mind went this way or whatever but I was sitting in my truck and I had just went through I think the line at Taco Bell, I was wanting tacos, y'all love tacos. And um, I was sitting there and I was thinking about, um, well, I'll tell you what it was. I was actually, I was in a pair of leggings and a t-shirt and my Mac hat. And I had it turned backwards, you know, and I was like, you know, you kind of look kind of slouchy, but, you know, like I'm comfortable and I, you know, I like what I'm wearing. I had, you know, a certain t-shirt on and certain pair of leggings and stuff and I really liked it. And I was like, you know, used to, I wouldn't have wore this. Like I didn't wear hats and I didn't, you know, go out in t-shirts. I didn't go out in leggings or nothing like that. And truthfully, like I didn't, 
I didn't look slouchy. I just felt kind of slouchy because I was in, you know, this, this t-shirt that was a little big for me. But I was like, you know, normally you wouldn't have worn, worn this. You wouldn't have went out in public like this. And I was like, I'm being myself. I'm finally just being myself and being comfortable and being happy. This truck's going to come back around me, so you're going to get to see it through the window. Check it out. You understand? I love big trucks. Ooh, it is nice. <laughs> I love trucks. And I want to tell you a funny story about that. Um, when I was growing up, when I was very little, I mean very little, um, my dad would go to this garage and it, there was this really big barn and he would go in there and he would work. Like he would tinker around on stuff or he'd work on his truck or whatever, you know, he wanted to do. And it had a stove in it made out of uh, big truck rims and it was welded together, it was really cool. And there was a stove in there, you know, during the winter time they would, you know, feed it firewood and stuff. Like I remember working and cutting firewood with my dad, that was something that he did. And he would put wood in there and we'd be warm and all that stuff. Well, I remember being in there, me and mom would come by, you know, to see my dad or whatever because she would get off work and pick me up or whatever from the babysitter or wherever, you know, like, I believe this would have been before I was in school. And even I remember after I was in school, you know, he would be there in the evenings and stuff when we would stop by. And I remember being in that barn and there was this black Peterbilt sitting in there. And it was, I believe it's a 379. Those of you that love trucks will love it. You'll know what I mean. <laughs> um, and I remember looking up at that truck because it was way bigger than I am, which I mean, it's bigger than I am now, but I mean, I was a little bitty kid, so I was like looking way up at this truck and it would be kind of dark in there. There wasn't a lot of lighting. And it just looked like this big, mean monster truck, you know? And I don't ever remember being scared of it. Like, I loved it. I thought it was so cool. And the funny thing about this story is, later on, like many, many years down the road, um, years after, you know, my mom and dad, you know, split up and things like that, my mom ended up with the guy that owns this garage, that owns this Peterbilt. And <laughs> I've been telling him, I'm like, that's my Peterbilt. That's my Pete. That's my truck. I'm going to have that truck. I'm going to buy that truck off you. Because it's for sale. Like, you know, he'll tell you. Like, he'll sell it. And I was like, that's my truck. And he, it was funny because we was next door one day. Um, and he said, his phone rang and he said he had, thought he had an offer on that Pete. And I was like. It ain't gonna go through, it ain't gonna work out because that's my truck. And he was like, well, I hope it works out, you know, sell the truck. It didn't work out. <laughs> my truck's still sitting there waiting on me and I was looking at it the other day and I was like, I'm working on it. Give me some time, working on it. <laughs> so see, it, there's a picture that I share sometimes and I'll have to find it and show y'all, but there's a picture online that shows a little girl or a little boy um, it, I don't know which one, it doesn't matter. It works, you know, for both. And there's this car, like a tuner, sitting in like a showroom and that little boy or little girl standing there staring at it. And it's talking about how dreams start very young. So you can imagine that's a dream of mine. That Peterbilt is actually on one of my vision boards. I have pictures of that Peterbilt on one of my vision boards. So dreaming you know it's so important and that's what i'm saying it doesn't matter where you start okay like i started out very you know a small child seeing that truck you know and that's just a small dream for me but started out just a small child with not much of anything you know my parents struggling you know to provide a life and they always made sure i was clothed they always made sure i was fed god provided for us but I didn't have really anything to spare. They didn't really have anything to spare. And you could look at it like, you know, 
I could have, even when I was little, there's no way that it would have made sense for me to dream that I would have a truck like that one day. And even now, like, I don't have a bunch of money. I don't have how much money, you know, that truck is or whatever. Don't know how in the world I'm going to be able to buy that truck, but I'm going to. You know, like, you have to, don't be scared to dream. Don't be scared to know the life that you want, the life that you're going to have. Like, you do not understand how, like, powerful the mind is. Some people know what I mean. They know what I'm talking about. But you literally believe things into existence. Okay? You just, you focus, you do what it takes. But I've rambled on and probably seemed like, as usual, went a hundred different places, a hundred mile an hour, really didn't have a thought today like really didn't have a thought to do a video i just wanted to get on and say hi to everybody and i hope you're doing great and having a great day having a great week um but it turned out i had a little bit of inspiration for you <laughs> a little bit of inspiration for those of you that dream you know just hang in there stick with it it's all gonna be fine you just gotta dig your heels in Pull yourself up by your bootstraps or however that saying is. Reba McIntyre is where I got that. But, um, you just gotta keep digging. You gotta do what it takes. And do, you know, stick with God. Um, let Him guide you. Follow His guidance. Uh, follow Him where He leads you. Do the right thing. And, guys, <laughs> I am living proof. And it... I have to catch myself. It almost makes me want to cry because God, I promise you, you stick with Him, you do the right thing, God's going to make a way. And that doesn't mean that I'm perfect. I'm so far from perfect. But if you take a stand, you step out on faith, you do what He's wanting you to do, and I promise you, He will open a door. He will open a door better. Okay? So please, 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 please. Don't be scared to do the right thing. Don't be afraid to dream. Don't be afraid to do what you need to do. Okay? It's all going to work out great. And I'm passing that truck again. <laughs> I'm probably like speeding up and slowing down. I don't know. I get excited and speed up, I guess. But anyway, <laughs> I love you guys. And I hope that that's been entertaining for you. I hope that I've uh, gave you some inspiration today. And of course, you've learned a little bit more about my, you know, little stories, which is fine. But um, if you're seeing this on YouTube, feel free to subscribe or share or do whatever. You know, if you're seeing this on a page, I don't know where all I'm going to put it. But um, it's whatever. You guys, you can find me in a lot of different places. But I love you. I hope you have a wonderful week. And hopefully I can get back with you soon. See you guys.